Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I want to talk to you guys about how to set up an Etsy listing from start to finish, including how to package your files. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on the like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And if you hadn't already, go ahead on over to the Facebook group and join up where we're creating a community of like-minded individuals looking to grow their semi-passive income. Um, today, I just wanted to go through how to create an Etsy listing from start to finish and what my process looks like. I will be working with Silhouette Studio and Inkscape so y'all can see what that looks like. So excuse this weird little square here on my computer. I have to do a reset. This computer is just, I don't know what happened while I was making mock -ups. Anyways, I just created like these very simple bathroom jar designs in Silhouette Studio. So what I do is I go to save and I have a file called files and anything that I haven't posted, um, I will create a new folder for. So I went ahead and did that for these bathroom jars. So I'm just gonna go ahead and name that file. So I named the file bathroom jars and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the Silhouette Studio file for first. That way if I need to go back and ever make any edits, I have the capability of doing that. The next thing that I'm going to do is save this as an SVG, okay? And I, obviously I've already done this, so I'm just replacing the files. And then the third thing I do is save it as a JPEG at 300 DPI, save. And then what I do is I take the designs and I punch them over into my pre-made mock-up. So I just kind of fit them in there. It doesn't look anything crazy, right? And then I will go ahead and save that as a JPEG. And I already have that saved here as mock-up one. And then I go ahead and do my other mock-ups. And in this case, um, I just have this jar here that I have saved as mock-up two or three, and I also have a mock-up two, okay? So once I have all of that done from Silhouette Studio, then I go back into the folder. And obviously I am missing my DXF and PNG files. So I open up my SVG in Inkscape in Inkscape, I'm going to go ahead and save that as a DXF. And then I am going to export as a PNG. Okay, now I can close this out. And you can see those files have dropped in here. And so I'm just going to select the PNG, DXF, JPEG, and SVG. I'm gonna right click on those. And then I'm going to send it to a compressed zip folder, okay? And now here's where the meat comes. I have my listings up here. Now what I normally like to do for me, and this is just me personally, if I know what section it's gonna be in, I'll just copy the listing that I have and then um, I'll work in that. So that's what I'm going to do today so I don't have to type out all this extra additional information. It will save you a ton of time, especially if you are using canned descriptions, okay? So for this case, this is kind of like a generic, um, a, gener a general one. So I'm just going to post that in general. And um, I guess I'm just going to copy this one. It doesn't really matter, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna delete out the mock-ups that are in here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the mock-ups. And again, I have named those mock-up two and three and open those up. Okay, and I'm just gonna move this here. And then I'm going to change the title. Now, again, and I talk about this all the time, you really want to use like the three keyword method. What are your three keywords that you're targeting going to be for your title? And so in this case, um, I'm going to end up doing funny bathroom jar SVG, adult humor SVG, funny bathroom decor SVG. Okay, so those are the three I'm shooting for. I'm gonna copy and paste that. Um, 
I always do a supplier tool to make things. Obviously, I made it in 2020. I do clip art and image files, but depending on what you do, you want to change this category. Um, for subject, let's see. I've had phrase and saying and humorous saying also. Um, selected. And I think really that's all I'm going to select for that. The length and width, I usually just leave. Primary color here is going to be black. I do not have a secondary color. Uh, as far as occasion goes, this could be like a really funny housewarming gift. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Obviously, we want automatic renewal and it is going to be a digital file. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste my title and put that here. And then write a quick description. If you are looking for a funny way to spruce up your bathroom decor. Look no further. These funny bathroom jar switches. Let's make sure that are perfect for the tiny jars in your bathroom. Okay, so I included a couple of keywords in here. So it is good to put this um, up here because Google is going to pull your meta description. And you can show that preview here um, and they'll be able to pull this information um, like this. And you can see that it's cut off right there. If you have a production partner, you can go ahead and add that. Make sure you choose your shop, shop section. Um, and then also the tags, I'm going to obviously change. We'll put bathroom, SVG, adult, bathroom, bathroom, jar, SVG, bathroom, decor. And I'll add some more tags later. I'm going to leave that at 350. And then I'm going to go ahead and upload my file. And click on publish copy. And we're done. Really, that's all there is to it. I just wanted to walk you guys through that process. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments box below or head on over to the Facebook group and go ahead and ask me there. Um, and if you got something out of this video, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below. That does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. And if you all need anything else, please do not hesitate to reach out and I will catch you on the next video. Have a good one.